Hello, everybody. I wanted to speak about mirroring in relationship and how the things that we see in the other can be communicated in the best way. And this is an inquiry that I have because what I see is that many times in relationship, whether we have one person that is doing a lot of inner work or both, what comes up is that there is clarity from that person about the dynamics in the relationship and the things that are maybe have, having patterns that are going on, have been going on for a long time with both partners or even just seeing the other in their patterns. And then when you're doing your inner work, you really want to point that out because you can see both how it can help the person and, all, and also how it can help the relationship dynamic. And what I've seen is that many times when you do come with your truth, when you mirror the other with what's you know, reflected to you, what happens is there is, there, there is a reaction. And even the polarity, especially if it's a, an intimate relationship, the, the polarity between um, the partners can be kind of thrown off. Because when we tell somebody what we see, it can feel a little bit like a parent-child um, relationship or you know like somebody that a teacher and a, and a disciple and that throws up that that polarity where we are equal and we come together as, as equals in in the couple and also where maybe the polarity with the female and the male and, and, and these things so the question is where how do we how can we best communicate what we see when we start to do the work how can we best um point out the things that according to our understanding is something that is throwing up either the equilibrium in the other person's life or in the relationship and maybe if it's only throwing up the off the things in that person's life should we then not mention it and wait until they they recognize it by themselves should we all only maybe look at the things that have to do with the dynamics between two people or maybe the opposite the things that have to do with two people maybe we are subjective because we are also in the relationship so we should not mention these things we should only say the things that we can look at objectively in the other because then we are not part of it so we don't have like a, a personal agenda so these are questions that I feel are super important and super interesting and when we are starting on a journey whether it's with the gene keys or any other modality where we get to know each other better and when we also have the work with the Venus sequence and the and the mirroring with the other like all these things are going to come up and how can we address them in relationships especially if our partner is not into the same the same modalities so thank you